Hi, I'm Zeni McEwen. I teach in the green area in the primary division. It's a language pre-K area, and I'm very thankful for the faculty studies program. Okay, can you go ahead and draw a picture up here at the top and then we'll write words at the bottom when you're all done, okay? Around my mountains. Each child gets their very own journal and inside has story picture paper. So there's a blank page at the top and then lines at the bottom. And I go with each child individually and they can draw whatever they want and then I help them write words at the bottom. You wanna write the word mountain down here? What would be the first sound for mountain? M. What comes after M in mountain? T. T, you're right. That is easy. Mountain. Do you hear any other sounds? It may not be words like you would normally think or see in a book. They may not be spelled correctly, but they do the sounds that they are able to hear. And because I'm doing it with each child, we can work at their developmental level. This is one where they drew a volcano, and then they wrote volcano. Um, this is one where they wrote the beginning and the ending sounds. So this says snake, and the bottom one is circle, slightly more advanced one. They wrote reading a book with my dad, spending the night with my grandma. But it can let me know what sounds we need to work on and where we are. And, and even though they might know the letter, being able to put it down as part of a story is a completely different ball game for them. And I always think it's fun as a teacher. It was really nice the first time I was able to read the words back <laughs> because sometimes that takes some extra talent to be able to read what they've actually written. And it's nice when they can read it to me. They feel so proud of themselves and it's, it's just fun and neat to see. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. It's one of my favorite things.